Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we have another wig review. I, listen, I feel like I've been getting a lot more comfortable styling my wigs, reviewing them, and so I am enjoying being able to try out different brands. This is a brand new company, new to my channel, so you will get to learn more about them. But this wig is worn completely glueless. Check it out, she is not glued down at all. So all I did was put some mousse. My sides are not pinned. Like when I tell y'all we wanted to do bare minimum, it says wear it glueless, I wanna wear it glueless. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do videos once a week, sometimes I throw in another if I'm feeling a little productive and spicy, so you don't wanna miss it. But if you guys wanna hear the details of this absolutely gorgeous 20 inch, 180% density unit, then stay tuned and keep on watching. The brand we are working with today is Love Win Hair. They were kind enough to send me this wig to review and in the package I received a satin cap, a headband with this cute little leopard print, HD wig cap, so these are the really thin ones, great for the bald cap method. I also got an edge brush in my package, which I love collecting these, as well as these gorgeous lashes, an elastic band to help melt the lace. And then this is the star of the show. This is the unit right here. This is their 180% density popular highlight HD lace frontal body wave wig. This one is, like I said, 180% density. Look at this color on this wig. These highlights are so beautiful. Cap construction on the inside, you have two combs on the side, and then you have your adjustable band that you can detach. Then in the back, I've never seen this before. You do have a comb to attach, but there's also this silicone in the band attached to the band that helps it to grip to your skin to be more secure. So I thought that was a really good feature. And then there's also a comb right behind the lace. This is what the hairline looks like. And they do say that they are giving you a deep pre-plucked hairline. This invisible HD Swiss lace, you will see when I put this wig on my head, it virtually disappears and looks like my skin. But the hairline looks really good. Didn't think that I was gonna have to do anything to it. So I just wanted to show you real quick before I got into styling what it looks like straight out of the box. A hairline like this, you already know, I'm not touching it. <laughs> I don't enjoy plucking, like look at this. Why would you even need to? I think it looks so good and this is a 13 by 6 parting space so I'm just parting right here to show you how deep you can part the hair if you want to of course I'm doing a side part you know that's my favorite but we have a lot of room to work with right here getting into styling it I just wanted to use my wax stick and my hot comb to make sure the wig was as flat as possible on top I used my Joyco heat protectant and sprayed that all throughout the hair to make sure I didn't do any damage to it. I started off using my wand curler to curl it, but I got tired of that quick and just went to my trusty T3, which helped get the job done a lot quicker for me. And I just curled the hair in sections and curled the top part away so that I can do my little flip over. All right, so let's jump into the details of this wig. Now, this is a brand that is new to my channel. They reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in reviewing one of their wigs. They sent me two options and I picked one with some color. It is long, 20 inches long, but I just wanna give you a quick rundown of the details in case you skip through the unboxing, some people do. This is a 100% virgin human hair wig. It is supposed to be pre-plucked. You're supposed to be able to wear her glueless, which you know I love. That is one thing that will sell me on a wig anytime. And it has 180% density. I feel like most of the wigs that I get that aren't curly are usually 150, sometimes even 130. So 
that's a plus the hair is gonna be thicker I got this one in a 13 by 6 they do offer a 13 by 4 option which is a little less expensive but one really cool thing about this wig this has a cap construction that I've never seen before in the back instead of having your adjustable straps it has elastic but right here in the back they have this elastic band and there are no adjustable straps well it's not an elastic band but it's an elastic attached to the back of it that will stick to your skin to help keep it from sliding so i'm curious to see how that helps to make it glueless in the intro i did put it on just pretty quick to see how the lace looked and everything and it felt snug but it didn't feel super tight so I feel like even with it not being adjustable, it will fit my head, which I consider to be a big head. Um, so I'm not sure what that means for people who have a smaller head, but for me, I think it's gonna be okay. Now, one other thing I do wanna point out, I was told that I was gonna get a wig that had knots that are pre-bleached. It does look like they are lightly bleached, but they, it's not what I'm used to seeing in a wig that says the knots are bleached. So the good thing is the knots are really, really, really small. I'm gonna go ahead and put my, which side we got our part on today? Same side I'm wearing, my little wig grip on. Y'all know this is how I do all my reviews, especially if I wanna wear her glueless. So let's put her on again and see, uh-oh, one of my pins came out. I could go ahead and take these out. Um. What she looks like, this is an HD lace. I do feel like because this has that elastic in the back to help this go, to help this be more secure, if you're not wearing it glued down, I never glue down, I never sew down, like any of that stuff. I always just worry about the sides when I'm gonna try to wear it glueless. So we might have to glue those down, but like I said, we're gonna try to do as much as we can without having to, but just based on, got some wax in there, just based on how this looks right now, I feel like this lace color looks really, really good for my skin tone. So hopefully we won't have to do too much. I can see that it is pre-plucked a little bit and I do like the shape of the hairline because I feel like it mimics mine a little bit. I just feel like every time, if it's not a closure, it is really hard to wear a wig glueless because of the side. So I'm gonna take my pinking shears. I finally bought some and these, I'll show y'all real quick. These are the scissors that have the jagged edge in them already. Yeah, you can see it better like that. So when you're cutting off your lace, it makes it easier to cut it in that jagged shape. Now, instead of trying to do the zigzag motions with your smaller scissors, my only concern is how big these scissors are, but I think we should be okay. But I would love to have me a good glueless highlight wig. I love the highlights in this unit. They look so good. I think this is perfect for summer. And it helps give a little extra oomph. I'm not big into like super long wigs. Oh yeah, that's good. Wow. But being that this one has the highlights in it it just makes it feel more sassy and a little more glam i ain't gonna lie i will use these scissors but i will use these scissors when it's on my mannequin head because this is making me so nervous we're gonna go back to what we know like right now i haven't put any powder on the lace and i feel like this hairline looks good so definitely have that as a plus for them. I feel like she's a tiny, tiny bit small <laughs> for my head. And I say that because I have no room to pull these sides down anymore. So I don't think this will cover this would barely cover my sideburns, which is fine. So I'm just gonna brush it through right now and kind of get my curls together and then we will figure out. Oh, this is so pretty. And this hair is so soft. Like I will say when I first pulled it out the box, it did look a little bit frizzy, but usually that happens whenever you have hair that is bleached. 
So I just used a little bit of my Sleek and Shine in it and that helped to get it together a little bit. God, this color. I was not expecting to like this this much and being that I barely did anything to the lace, I didn't do anything to the lace actually. I'm thinking that I would have put my powder but I didn't have to do that. Like this I just feel like looks really good. There might be a little bit of cast if I look up but I'm going to use some mousse just to kind of help it stay down a tiny tiny bit and that's going to be it because we are not using any other sprays adhesives, glues, anything like that. So the mousse that I have is this Tailored Crowns Glueless Goo Styling Foam. It says that this is a no flaking formula and it's long lasting hold, defines curls, adds shine and moisture. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on my fingers and put it here in the front and try not to mess up my makeup too much. And then we are gonna tie it down I do feel like this is a cheat code that I literally just found out about and I was like why haven't I tried that sooner so we're gonna see if it works because this is a lot faster and a lot easier than trying to worry about glue and the mess and the flakes and all that stuff So I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit and then I'm going to come back, put some powder and tell you guys my final thoughts. So you can see already that flattened it to my head some. Ooh, I didn't have that on long and it's still, <laughs> still left marks on my head. So I want to try to just move the hair to get it back without lifting the little bit of, there we go. And then I'm gonna put some powder in the front, but that actually worked really well. And this is gonna be easy to take off. It's no glue, nothing like that. Like you can see it's already lifting there, but we'll just push that back down. And then let's put some powder. I always go in with my bronzer because I have makeup on and I have bronzer on my forehead, which makes it a little darker. So I need to put a powder that is a little darker so that it eliminates that white cast, which it has done. They say that this is HD lace and I definitely agree with those claims. I barely had to do anything. I'm gonna put a little bit of powder in my part just to help define that a little more. You can tell just that a little bit already. The way this is laying down right now, because I use the mousse, like my sides are not glued down. And because of how the hair is laying, you can't even see that. So I don't even feel like I need to glue this side. If you're worried about security, you can always clip it, but I don't even feel like I need to do that. This is so pretty. And I noticed when I was curling it, like some of the highlights in it almost looked like it was a strawberry blonde. So it's very multi-dimensional. It's not just one strand one shade of a light blonde so i absolutely love that i'm gonna curl this part again in the front but let me give you all a quick little 360 so you can see what the hair looks like like the layers are all throughout the wig it's not just in the front or like little pieces like there's some here at the top there's more in the back like it just they did a really amazing job with this color. And like I said, 20 inches, so this is probably the longest wig <laughs> I have worn. Very, very long, but again, it's manageable because the hair is so soft, I don't feel like it's tangling. I just think this looks good. Let me curl this little piece and then that will be it. Getting these curls to stay is always my nemesis with a long wig, but I love how this looks. This wig is so pretty, and I really did not think I was gonna like it this much. I don't know, I was just like, eh, I have highlight wigs already. I don't really need another one, this is okay. But the way it's constructed and being able to just put that little bit of mousse in the front, and it's staying down, it's holding, the back is definitely secure. 
no cons for me at all. I mean, look at it. Y'all can tell, right? <laughs> this is a gorgeous wig, and I'm so glad that Love When Hair reached out to me to give it a try. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I will have all the information in the description box below. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. Thank you again to Love When Hair for sending me this unit. I absolutely love it, and I love the construction in the back completely new, different from anything that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.